How to change your duck line placement options in PractiCAD. PractiCAD has a variety of options that make it easy to draw while you're on continue. Some of these options are called trace duck line placement and set by selection duck line placement. These options are controlled in your library icon. We're going to go into library now. On the left hand side we're going to click on the word ductwork and that is going to open up our duct work options. Notice here we have duct line placement and we have two parts. The first part of these tutorials is going to be on the trace duct line placement and the second part of the tutorial will be on the set by selection duct line placement. What I'm going to do is uncheck the set by selection and we're going to focus on the trace parameters. If these are checked, what PractiCAD is going to do is when I attach a piece of duct to an existing duct line, it's going to make the duct I am holding match the specification, the zone, the floor, and the system number properties. So here I'm going to hit the save key and we're going to exit out of the library. Notice currently we're going to grab a piece of duct and we're going to snap to this duct line. If we look at the properties of this duct line by double clicking on the duct, you can see that the zone is supply, the floor is 1, and the system number is AHU-1. You will also notice that if I click on this duct work, that it's showing me the same properties in the property box because it's picked up the properties from the duct it was attached to. However, if I go and grab another piece of duct and I decide to snap to this fitting and then we look at these properties and you can see by the layer changing color that it's obviously picked up the zone and spec. You can see that that duct has picked up floor 2, zone return, AHU2, completely different floor, zone, and system number properties. And it's picked it up from the fitting we attached it to here. So this is a very important option and it's probably best to leave it on at all times. Once you've placed one fitting on the drawing with the proper specification, you can then move between fittings and you don't have to worry about changing the spec as you go. For example, I'm grabbing a piece of duct I'm going to click up top. You can see that it adds the tie rod, changes the color, the zone. You can even see the workbox updating the information. And then I'm going to click here and do the same thing down at this run without letting go of the duct. And you can see it's picking up all the proper information. That is how we use trace, specification, zone, floor, and system number.